Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing our customer program that uses structures. And if you, this doesn't look familiar to you, go back to tutorial 68 and that's where we start building this program. So um, enough rambling, let's go ahead and get started. So um, we created a structure, we created an object of that structure, and let's go ahead and take this out just to make it a little bit more readable. Uh, we set the values of that structure and we called display customer and passed our object to it. And so basically what display customer does is it takes a <coughs> sorry about that. It takes a cu customer and it sets the text of the text value text first name uh, to cust customer dot first name. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the name field. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a um, a read only property. Now if you don't know what properties are then go back and uh, to one of the earlier tutorials um, because this will just confuse you. Now one thing about structures is that you you don't um, you aren't constrained to only use uh, variables and values inside of your structure. You can also use methods and properties and other stuff. So in our case we're going to create a property. So we'll go ahead and type public. Now we don't want the property to be able to set a value uh, because there's no need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to type read only property. So what this says is um, make a property but don't let us make a set function. So it will let us use a get but we cannot use set. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to give a name for this and we'll set it equal to name for the uh, name field right here. And now we need to specify a data type for it. So we'll just do as string. And now you can see that when we press enter, it adds the get and end property for us. You can see it doesn't add the set for us because it, because it is read only. So now what we need to do is we need to add first name and last name to each other. So we will just type return first name. And then we'll just add a space in between that. And then last name. So what this is going to do is the property name is going to be equal to first name plus a space plus last name. So now what we need to do is we need to set the, um, we need to put that inside of this text box right here, which is text name. So we'll scroll down here and we will find our display customer sub. So you can see we set text first name dot text, text last name dot text, and text email dot text. Okay, so now we'll come up here to the first line of display customer and we're just going to type text name dot text and we will set it equal to cust dot name now name is read as a value uh, you can see that it gives us uh, instead of the blue square we are going to get this little um, pointing finger right here to a list and that just represents a property um, this can also represent constants and other things inside of Visual Basic. Uh, once you learn what these icons mean, um, you'll be able to see things really fast and know what they are. And it, it may not seem like it, but it helps a lot when you're um, programming anything. So um, now let's go up here and we will run this. And if we type list customer, we get Jim Jones. First name is Jim, last name is Jones. And we've got the email jones.jim at live.com. So now let's go ahead and I'll just show you that we can create more than one customer. So we'll just type private object new customer as customer. Now these two are completely independent of each other and they are independent of the customer structure because we are creating what's called an object of it, uh, which creates one of them. So um, we'll go ahead and come down here and we will set the values for object new customer so object new customer dot first name let's equal that let's set that equal to Sam and then object new customer dot last name and I'm not gonna put my real last name on here let's just do um, hello that'll be my last name sounds like a good last name and then we'll do object new customer dot email equals let's just do um, 
my email at programmer.com. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and instead of using object customer, we will send object new customer. And we'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that we have our normal form. And if we click list customer, we get Sam hello, first name Sam, last name hello, and email my email at programmer.com. So that was just a little demonstration to show you that um, you can create as many structures as you want and they are stored as objects and they are completely independent of each other and each can have different values for the variables and they won't affect each other. So um, we also talked about read-only properties, uh, which was the main focus of this tutorial. There's also such thing as write-only properties, which um, instead of giving you only get, you, you only get the, uh, the set function. Uh, which we'll be covering later on a couple couple tutorials after this because we don't need that in anything else. So um, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.